hi welcome back so in this video we are going to see what are solidity interfaces uh, we are going to see how we can define the interface of a program a solidity program and how we can create an implementation smart contract which is compliant with the interface we have created in another solidity smart contract file so basically what the interfaces are in solidity a contract interface is a way to define a set of function signatures that a contract should implement um, in the interfaces uh, the functions like the logic of the function is not defined just there are set, uh, de uh, there are a set of standards for the functions for different smart contracts uh, they are defined and you can use those standards to create your smart contract for example an interface could define the function that a token contract should implement allowing other contract to interact with the token in a standardized way so let's take an example of ERC20 so here in ERC20 they are importing the interface and in the ERC20 token the logic is implemented like return balance transfer but if you go to ERC20 if you open the interface you see that there are events and there are functions but the logic is not implemented and this is the function balance of transfer and allowance and it has two input like owner and spender and it returns unsigned in 256 so if we are going to use this function we need to define the exact same function for example it must have the two inputs address owner and address spender and it must return unsigned in 256 so in um, in this video we are going to create an interface smart contract and uh, we are going to create an implementation smart contract just like uh, ERC20 where we are going to import our interface and then we are going to implement the main function using uh, the interface and you actually if you see contract ERC is IERC20 so if we go to ethereum no not ethereum remix IDE if we just go to contracts let's create ivoting.sol and let's create an implementation function voting.sol so if we go to uh, if if we want to write our uh, interface we can do it like this pragma solidity 0 0.8.0 and these interfaces are defined in such a way that anyone can use it in their smart contract and uh, they can implement the same functionality uh, based on the standard rules which are defined in the i voting so function vote for candidate bytes 32 candidate external we define these functions external because we are going to use this interface in our main implementation smart contract so let's define another function total votes for bytes 32 candidate and external view returns unsigned in 256 I'm going to explain what these functions are doing but first I'm going to write it it should return bool so basically this is the first function vote for candidate it must take an input of bytes 32 candidate and then this function will be implemented like we are going uh, here we are not implementing the logic but we are going to implement the log logic in voting.sol so this vote for candidate it's going to take the address of candidate and it's going to give uh, or assign vote or maybe count the vote for a certain candidate total votes for this function actually uh, returns the total vote for a certain candidate which we are going to input here and then valid candidate we are going to see if the candidate is valid or not and we are going to return true or false now 
this is these are the signature functions anybody can who wants to implement the voting contract it can be in uh, the voting voting can be in sports voting can be in election or voting can be in any application depends on the user's use case and they can use this same function so here we are going to implement voting for uh, simply for the candidates so we can start with pragma solidity 0 0.8 0.0 we can say contract voting is i voting so if you see identifier not found or not unique so basically if you uh, let's go here and see what are the errors okay solidity okay identifier not found or not unique it's okay it's it's giving us the error because we have not yet implemented the functionality which is being said in this so let's try to import it first import dot slash i voting dot sol contract voting should be marked as abstract because we have not implemented these three functions which are being uh, which are being defined in the interface so we are getting the error so as as we are writing our contract and as we proceed the error will be gone and i will show you how so let's start create a mapping of bytes 32 and unsigned into 56 this is for to register the votes for a certain candidate votes received then we can say bytes 32 array public candidate list and in the constructor we can send a list of bytes 32 memory candidates names and we are going to assign candidate list is equals to candidates names we are going to assign this and our first function will be function vote for candidate now here vote for candidate it's going to take bytes 32 candidates so we are going to do the same bytes 32 candidate and public and override why we are using this word override because this voting contract is inheriting everything from i voting so it's inheriting these functions too like vote for candidate and here the logic is not implemented so we are using the override uh, word here so that it overrides the function which is being imported from i voting and it should the contract should consider this function this main function with the logic implemented so we can say that valid candidate of candidate we have not yet implemented this function but if you go here this valid candidate it takes the candidate and tells that either it's a right candidate like it's true or false like the candidate is allowed or not so we are going to say this and then we can say votes received of candidate plus equals to one so undeclared identifier yeah right now we have not yet implemented the functionality so let's uh, write the let's write the function valid candidate first function valid candidate and it must take bytes 32 candidate so let's go and copy and paste this here and view public 
override we are going to write override again it's going to return bool right because we defined it in the interface and then we can say for unsigned int i is equals to 0 we are going to look through all the candidate list and we are going to see if this candidate is present in the candidate list dot length and i plus plus and we are going to see if candidate list of i is equals to is equals to candidate which we are inputting return true else return false and it's going to give us the same error that you have not implemented this function total votes for because we have not yet implemented so let's implement this function too function total votes for and it's going to take the input by its 32 candidate so let's go here give input and view public we are going to override it returns it's going to return unsigned int to 56 it's going to return the total number of votes and we are going to copy the same thing we first need to check if the candidate is valid or not and then we are going to return votes received for this candidate and it's going it's giving us error did you intend to add public okay it's a typo so unnamed return variable can remain unnamed it's okay so yeah so if you see all the errors are gone these are just warnings so we have implemented three functions and we have overridden the functions which we imported from the our interface and we have implemented it here so let's try to make some change like let's uh, uh, string name is equals to any and let's try to no let's let's say string name and let's define uh, name is equals to any and let's return this name here return name and let's return string memory now the logic is fine but if you see the error overriding function return type differ because if you see in the i voting contract it's returning unsigned n to 56 but what we are doing we are trying to change the functionality of the function signature which is defined here we cannot just add anything when we are importing the interface so the interface the functions or events which we have defined here they must be implemented in the exact same way like in your contract uh, the main implementation contract so you just you cannot just add anything by your own so you can just remove it and let's remove this too and yeah so now your contract is all good it has some warnings but it's okay so to summarize in the interface you define the signature functions without the implementation like there is there must be a function which takes this input and it returns unsigned end then there is a function this and you need to follow the exact same procedure when you are importing this function in your main implementation contract so yeah that's all for interface so thank you very much for watching so see you in the next video bye bye